gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. So we got a bit more information on the One Piece reboot, which is going to be titled The One Piece. So at Jump Fiesta 2024, a huge announcement was made that Wit Studio and Netflix are partnering to produce a new and improved version of the beloved One Piece anime series. Um, this uh, new adaptation is going to feature condensed episode, a condensed episode count and updated animation and will be exclusively released on Netflix globally. So far, we only have confirmation that the One Piece will adapt the entirety of the East Blue Saga. Um, the director from Attack on Titan season one through season three, I think I spelled his name wrong, Masashi Koizuka is going to be over it. Um, that was all the news that I was able to get so far. But the hot take for this conversation, um, could this reboot convince anime watchers, given that the hesitancy for watching One Piece is the long episode count and the filler um, inside of it, would that convince them to start watching One Piece? And, and, and. Let's put more respect on Witch Studio. Attack on Titan Seasons 1 through 3 were good. But let's give them some more respect. Oh, Witch Studio. family. They're also doing Suicide Squad East Kai. Mm-hmm. In the past, they did the Spy Family Seasons, Villain Saga, Ancient Magus Bride, which looked good. Um, Ranking of Kings, I didn't watch that, but it looked good. Witch Studio got that experience. Um... Honestly, to y'all One Piece, to y'all anime fans that have not watched One Piece, at first I was like, "Why are we rebooting this?" There's so many other series that could get a, that could get continuations and reboots. But One Piece, the manga came out in like the '90s. The anime started, I want to say, like 2002. I can't remember the year exactly. Like we're condensing. They might it, they might have the ability to condense what was like. 400 one piece episodes into probably like 200 let alone 150 i think the article that i was looking at was like the east blue saga was like 50 something episodes and they said if they cut out all of the fluff it could be like 25 which makes which is it absolutely makes a lot of sense when you when you look at the pacing from one piece compared to the manga because i've looked at it one piece will make one punch that's like two pages long two episodes and that's not an exaggeration they will make it take forever even some of the pacing in wayno at some point was like all right now luffy been in the sky and this punch ain't hit kaido yet three whole episodes have passed by what are we doing here mm -hmm. so i think this would be perfect for incoming anime fans who who want to try one piece i feel like this is less intimidating modern graphics modern animations and I think they may use the same voice actors, so that familiarity is there. Mm -hmm. And they might do it into a seasonal format. Like, if East Blue is just one 25-episode season, like, yes, bro, jump on that. The live action was good. Y'all see that the art, the characters, and the plot is there. I think this should convert a lot of anime fans who are who are, who are fearful of watching a thousand-plus episode anime into watching this. I think this will convert y'all over. I would agree. I feel like this is a reboot that solves a problem. You know, like... Yeah. Because we were talking... Because how we were talking about, like, going back to the Disney thing about these live-action remakes, like, what's the problem we're trying to solve by remaking some of this stuff in live-action? Or um, back when they were talking about that Naruto reboot, why are we rebooting Naruto? Like, what what, what was the problem? Or, like, why, why do we feel like we need a, a reboot? I feel like this One Piece reboot solves an actual problem of from the OG series that the pacing, it, the pacing was horrible. Um, starting out, the graphics aren't that great compared to where it is now. So now we're solving a couple of different issues by putting out this reboot. Exactly. I fully agree because like the Naruto reboot one, Naruto didn't have much fluff. They had a lot of filler episodes and filler being non-canon, not, Filler as in an arc that isn't that big of a deal that was written by the mangaka. I'm so talking about filler that's non-canon material. Naruto did have quite a bit of filler, but you can look up filler list and skip it. And the animation, in my opinion, still holds up 
at a decent does a decent job at holding up in the OG Naruto series. Mm-hmm. It didn't need a reboot. Neither did Bleach. Bleach deterred from the manga and missed out on some stuff, but it wasn't that bad. One Piece, that fluff is crazy. The fluff they add, because it's not filler, it's not much filler in One Piece. A lot of the content is canon. It's just what they're doing is making what could have been done in ten, two minutes stretch across 20. Mm-hmm. And it's terrible. The fluff is terrible. I wonder, I like, um, we don't have a release date for this. I think the most recent news we got on this, they started uh, showing like the storybook storybooking and everything that they've been doing towards this. I wonder how they're going to manage this alongside the One Piece live action. Since which studio isn't over, it's interesting because Netflix got the publishing rights, you said, correct? I don't... I would assume so. Because they said with studio and Netflix. Yeah. If Net- Netflix invested some money to make sure they're the ones releasing it and not mm-hmm. Crunchyroll and Prime. Mm-hmm. So... If anything, I could see them alternating. I'd like I could see Netflix releasing the second season for the live action because I know it got a did it did it officially get announced or they just said it's in production? Um, yeah, they got renewed. I think they got renewed for like season two and season and three, three. Correct. Or yeah. I could be thinking about Avatar. So since we ain't got no date for this reboot for the animation, I could see season two coming out of the live action. Bing bang boom, it probably was in six months to a year. We get the the One Piece anime, and then season three of the live action come out. They could run in tandem because they're tell the live action tells a different story. You know what I'm saying from what the anime tells. Like it's not fully one for one. It's not even like one for a, a half. They hit some of the big points and then they do what they want in in the middle. So the anime, if it's going to stay true to the manga, mm-hmm. more true than the regular series because the regular series has so much freaking fluff in between. Mm-hmm. I think that's worth it. I think the value proposition is there. And both parties are going to enjoy it. Because now the live action watchers are going to be like, so what was in the anime? Because I ain't watching a thousand episodes or something. They're going to watch this. Yeah. Or if there's anybody who prefers animated content. Like, I know the live action went up. But if you want to, if you still want that anime feel, but you also don't want to watch a thousand episodes, here is the One Piece. Exactly. And the thing about it, it's interesting because I think the One Piece manga, I think they did say it could end um, there in the final saga. But each One Piece saga has like three to five arcs, mm-hmm. if you if you can keep up with that. I think the last saga started off with the Island of Vegapunk, and now they're finna go into Elbath's arc. So if they're going, if they got one or two more arcs left, One Piece could end within like the next three years. Mm-hmm. And if they're doing this anime reboot and they do a seasonal release, 25 episodes, two cores in one, they got something for like the next seven plus years. And it's going to it's going to still hit like a 500 episode count for sure. But. They can make this work. Yeah. I'd be. I'd be interested to see. Like what the condensing. um encapsulates are people going to be vibing with mm-hmm. it because you know we have new animation um and all that good stuff so the only complaints that i've seen so far is like the lightning the lightning of the characters and some of the designs but <sighs> mm, i hate to do this i hate to do this but i am black so I, I'm the only one who can do this. Ah. I'm I'm black and I'm the only one who can do this without y'all calling me racist. What color is Usopp on this cover of this volume five manga? I can't see that. He the same. Hold on. He Usopp just as pale as Luffy and Nami. He has some shading because of the shadowing to show the separation from his palms to his fingers. Usopp being bright. Toy, when they animated it, yes, they made Usopp brown, but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. This is a battle where y'all don't have much leverage. Usopp been pale. Usopp been pale. They said they want what they saw in the anime. I'm sorry. We don't, want, the, we don't want what we saw in that book. We don't care what we saw the, in that book. I, I feel it. 
I feel it. And I, and y'all know I'm going to be the one to piss people off of my own skin tone and other skin tones. Usopp been pale, y'all. Usopp been pale. Robin <laughs> 2. Robin 2. Robin 2. I'm sorry, y'all. This is If we're going to stay true to the manga, true to the source material, take out the fluff, y'all can look at Usopp. He pale. White bone. Not red bone. Not chocolate. Please. Not yellow bone. He we're white bone. The, we're losing the plot. <laughs> no, that's the plot. That's the plot. But, um, I don't know. I might check out the One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> she said, because I was not about to binge watch a thousand episodes. No. 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 But I I feel you, though. Like, this, this I'll watch it with you. I'll watch it with you so we can drop mob reviews because I love to drop mob review for East Blue and all that. When I was binge watching, I was like, I would like to drop reviews for this. I would love to do that. So we just gotta wait. At this point, we just gotta wait for a release date. I what but, you think when you think it might release? Twenty twenty five. Yeah, because right now Netflix Netflix has a lot for twenty twenty four. I probably. Maybe 2025 going into 2026. I'm going to say 2026. So like a winter so like a winter Christmas release? Yeah, I'm going to say 2026 to be safe though because 2024 Netflix is stacked. We already talked about this. Netflix is taking it 2024. I have no idea what they have up their sleeve for 2025. It could be the One Piece, which is why they're, you know, showing a little bit more for it. I'm saying 2026 to be safe, but it could be 2025. If they, I don't know if they're going to do well, their little I take, season, seasonal I take that splits, back. of course. I take that mm-hmm. back. It's probably going to be 2026. I feel like 2025 is going to go to One Piece live action season two, Avatar live action uh, season two, and um, anything that came out like last year, earlier this year, I think is going to take it for 2025. I could see that. I could see that. And depending on how fast which studio animates it, I want to know how far they're going. Because if their goal is to reanimate everything, are y'all like up to the time skip? Are y'all doing Marine Ford? Are y'all going to, is y'all going to catch up with the entire anime and eventually replace the overall anime within like eight years or so? Because that's still going to be a lot to adapt. I want to mm-hmm. see what they're trying to do. Because at the end of the day, anime takes a while. Like as even these big studios, when it comes to these animes, the quickest they can do is one season a year. I. That's a good question on what they plan on doing with the OG series in comparison to the One Piece that's coming out. Because look up how many episodes of One Piece there are right now for me, if you can. And it's like a thousand some. Think like is it a thousand? Is it a thousand one hundred? Is it like a thousand sixty? Like, if they condense this even by half, season twenty. That's not it. We are currently at 1,115 episodes of One Piece. One Piece could easily hit the way it's going. I could eat, and I don't know when the last arc is coming out. One Piece could easily hit like 1,400 episodes. If they condense it, if they are able to condense everything into half, divided by two, that is still like 500 currently to 700, what I'm predicting, episodes. That's a lot. That That's going to take years to if, release. If we're talking about cutting cutting down that episode count in half, yeah. I, Let's just do the 500. 25 episodes a year? That's 20 years. <laughs> that is 20 years, bro. That's fair. I do wonder how far they're going to go with this. Is, this. is this a long-term project for Netflix that we're keeping One Piece fans engaged on two different mediums? For people who started with the OG series and people who are starting with the One Piece, people who's been watching the live action and now, you know, you have two different options to explore it in animated form. Like, And and if they get with Studio to commit to it, at the end of the day, the manga material has been out. They ain't got to worry about catching up, nothing mm -hmm. like that, like the current anime. Even if they just make it ongoing and they don't necessarily stop. 500 episodes, 52 weeks in a year, they skip some weeks. That's 50 episodes a year. That's still 10 years. That's going to be a lot. Like, One Piece fans are going to be fed. Like, the newer fans, if they commit to do it, are going to be fed. But that is still a lot. That's a long commitment. Yeah. 
I want I do wonder what the long term plan for this is. Mm-hmm. Cause it's it's weird. It's the only thing weird about this is that we're doing a reboot while the OG series is still going on. It's not one of those situations. It's not like Sailor Moon, where Sailor Moon ended in like nineteen ninety five. And Sailor exactly. Moon, and then Sailor Moon Crystal came out in like twenty. I don't want to be wrong. Was it twenty thirteen? It might have been, but like years after. The point is, I'm saying that the reboot came like years after the OG series ended. That's not one of those type of situations. So, and, and uh, the closest thing to it is probably Full Metal Alchemist. But to my, because they did Full Metal Alchemist, which didn't stay true to the manga. Then they did Brotherhood, which did stay true to the manga. I can't remember if Brotherhood came out at a point where the manga was complete or not, but it did come out within like a year or two after the original series ended. So it's still very recent on everybody's minds. Mm -hmm. But the East Blue Saga aired in like the early 2000s, like 2002, three One Piece fans, correct me, because I wasn't watching it back then. So it's been years. What you're finna see, it's been probably over 20 years since people first saw it that's fair that's fair i guess my only thing coming out of this is what's the long-term plan as far as yeah. the hot take i think i definitely think this is going to convince people to start watching one piece if your hesitancy was the pacing in the episode count now my question after this conversation is what is the long-term goal of the one piece right because people still, there are some people who think Naruto and Fairy Tale and Bleach are too long. And they're like, what, 300 to 400, 500 episodes each? Fairy Tale's a good 300 episodes. Yeah. People think that's too long. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. It's just. I mean, Naruto it. is longer than that. Naruto is longer than Fairy Tale. <laughs> this is just me going into like the black anime. It's not beef, it's like just some funny stuff. Taylor from Oh My Senpai, she messed with Duke Dennis from um AMP and was like, You need to watch Naruto. It's like, man, that stuff's too long. I'm like, Naruto's too long. Man, I've rewatched that about two, three times already. What you talking about? <laughs> Just skip the filler. All uh, right. You got you gotta get in there. You just gotta get in there. Like Lock three, in. like three hundred, like three hundred, four hundred episodes to me right now. It's not a lot because I've already done it, but I feel like a thousand is just pushing the envelope. Like that that is a feat that I never want to achieve. You saw me what was it, six months, eight months? And I'm I'm skipping out on watching other series. I only nah. stopped for like one or two video games. Like I was locked in and that was a lot. That's all right. I will wait for the one piece. The One Piece. <laughs> the One Piece. And that's so funny. What are you watching? I'm watching one. Oh, you're watching One Piece? No, I'm watching. The One Piece. The One Piece. The One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> if you need two weekends, go ahead. It is that good. Don't let the art style... Well, yeah, don't, I think don't, it's animation. Don't let that throw yeah, you off. Don't let the animation um hold you back. It's a really good story. Um, The first season is 13 episodes. All of it is...